What's happening guys? GVids here. If you guys are new here, make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any future content. And today we're going to go over all the easy ways and all the good ways, legitimate ways, uh, to earn some gold within Red Redemption Online. Um, every time I stream, which is every Sunday by the way, um, whenever I'm streaming I do get asked a lot how I earn my gold and how to the best ways to earn gold. Uh, so we're going to go over all those today. Uh, going over all the little tips that we can get uh, to get the most out of each one that we do um, but if you guys are old of the game or vets as we call them uh, definitely don't need to be watching this you guys are going to know everything just throw a like on the video and keep on moving but if you guys are recently new to the game this is definitely going to be very helpful and we're going to start off with the daily challenges which at the start is a little tedious um, as we only get 0 0.01 of a gold bar we used to get more um, but they have nerfed them um, but once we get the streak past 21 days I do believe it is um, we actually get the 2.5 gold bars um, which is not too bad if you get all of these challenges completed you can still earn a fair amount of gold um, obviously not as good as 0.5 gold bars you could just imagine how much gold we could actually earn back in the day from that which I know a lot of people did even myself did um, but now we're only getting a little bit and it does actually reset after 28 days which mine just did so I'm only getting the 0 0.01 of a gold bar now but daily challenges is a great way to earn gold and uh, probably one of the easiest ways in my eyes you can just hop on either just play the game normally and you usually complete a few of them or just aim at some few easy ones like I just killed a turtle kind of thing and the next thing is going through your awards uh, uh, I don't actually have any going so I'm just gonna flash through them but these things are actually really really overlooked and you get 0 0.04 of a gold bar um, so every three is 1.2 gold bars which actually adds up a fair amount and when you do forget about them and you go through uh, you can actually bring in a lot of gold from those things um, next is the bounty hunter now you do need this roll of course that is the downfall to this um, but you guys can grind this out and make an, a fair amount of gold especially if you wait it out to the last 30 seconds or so um, you get the full payment uh, you don't probably don't have to wait exactly to the red but I'm just old-fashioned and that's how I do it um, if I am gonna try to get the maximum out of it but they all kind of differ rent and payment um, obviously I just did one of the regular bounties which gives us uh, not as much gold as the infamous bounties but again you do need the roll for this one which is kind of the downside on that um, the next though you don't need any rolls and this is the old way we used to rank up on gold uh, back in the day was the stranger missions um, you can move along with them some of them pay more some of them pay less some of them take more time, some of them take less time. This one here only took me about 10 minutes, but again, you do want to wait until at least the last minute or so before you finish it off, so you get the full payment of gold. Now, you can really get a lot of gold from those things just by scrolling around the map and smashing all those out. That's what we used to do way back in the day, before the daily challenges were even around. And then the next thing is uh, quite an obvious one here, which is going to be the treasure maps. Um, now you can actually just loot people, do hideouts, um, basically just hang out around the Cumberland Forest area or Cumberland Falls area. And uh, those dudes actually randomly spawn up. The bounty hunters or the treasure hunters are called, not bounty hunters. The treasure hunters are out there. Um, there are glitches out there if you want to use those. Those are completely up to you, but I am showing legitimate ways here. Uh, so I just set my camp in that area, just hang out in that area, and you usually end up having them spawn in for you um, at least two or three times a week if you're always in that area playing every day kind of thing. So eventually they add up fairly quick, and we get one. 1.38 gold bars from that which is a hefty amount for a quick treasure map hunt and then the last thing is not my favorite it's actually my least favorite but we do get gold for them and we don't actually need any rolls for this one either everyone is able to do this you just open up your satchel go all the way down to the telegrams and open up new employment and you can easily just do these um, again each one kind of pays out a little bit more I'm only on hard right now so I'm not gonna get as much gold if you did this on ruthless 
um, but obviously we do get gold for these so I did want to showcase these but they're not the best and they don't pay out very much um, when there's a bonus you can probably get a fair amount off of them but that's pretty much the video guys I hope these uh, tips can help you guys out on earning that gold so you guys can get the rolls that you're looking for out there and all that fun stuff anyways guys make sure you do share like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one peace